I was 16, I won a great victory. I felt in that moment I would live to be 100. Now I know I shall not see 30. None of us know our end, really. Or what hand will guide us there. Okay, take a seat, you bitch. All right, well, all right, are we starting now? Yeah. Oh, fuck. So, what what are the benefits of dating multiple women? Oh my god, the same time? Then I don't think there's any real benefits here. It's I crazy. honestly think I get so tired of them eventually. It's just too much. That's the same way I think girls feel when they date multiple guys. For sure. Too much energy at the same time. But yo, tell that Habibi to fucking shut the fuck up. Okay, listen. What are you talking about, dude? Listen, man. Dude, I don't, this is not, what the fuck is this, man? What are we doing? <laughs> Some shit on people? Like, fuck. Yeah, dude. Fuck, man, I'm too tired for that shit. Yeah, so what do we got on uh, Hamas versus fucking the West? Uh, what's, the, what's, the, what's the latest? What's the latest? The latest, I don't know. From what I found out, we've basically fa- fallen into a pattern right now where it's just, Israel just keeps doing their, their moderate level shelling of Gaza. People go, you shouldn't do that. And then they just do it again and then rinse and repeat. People do some pro- some fucking protests, some marches against Israel, and that's about it. Nice. It really hasn't changed much. Nothing's changed. It's, no. it, like I said, it's fallen into like a steady state, essentially. God damn it. And uh, the rhetoric, or like what you hear from other countries and shit, like the governments, it's basically like one will be like, de- not denouncing, but be like, oh, you shouldn't do that, and that's it. That's that's all that happens. So I, I don't even know what the fucking end goal here is with Israel. Like, are they wanting to just... They're gonna they're gonna try to wipe out Hamas, move well, into the Gaza Strip. They're talking about and hostages gender. and what the fuck. It's like I don't that even that doesn't feel real. You know what I'm saying? Like what? what There's the a lot of propaganda too, like tons, from both sides. Tons. Uh, so it's hard to have like a real take on it. But what's the over under, man? What do you mean over under? If you had to bet right now, yeah, you, you have to put the you have to put the line in. Would you say that it's gonna be a wipeout by the West? Israel and fucking uh, all its allies. What, is a, gonna, what does a wipeout mean to you? Like just fucking genocide. Just fuck, blow up. No, I don't think that'll happen. You don't think so? No, it's too far. It doesn't make sense. It's like, what, what are you going to level buildings for? The amount of uh, weaponry that would take. It's like, wh- wh- why are you going to blow your load to do what? The country's all... Get, get rid of... Uh, get rid of what? Fucking Palestine. Uh, it's, they're already rid of. You fucking control the food. You control the water. You control... Yeah. They, they literally control the electricity, too. No, but what I'm saying is, like, actually permanently wipe them out as a race in that area. Yeah, but, like, for what? It's this fucking fraction. Gaza's, like, two million people, maybe. Yeah. And then, we, what? What about the West Bank? You can do the same thing there? Yeah, good fucking luck. No, but that's what I'm saying. I think, I think they're going to try to do that, and I think what's going to happen is... Worst case scenario, there might be World War Three. Worst case. Yeah, true worst case. I mean, true worst case. Yeah, that sure, is obviously that's that's the worst case for all these conflicts that have happened. In the last. I just don't think China is going to be down to do that, bro. For this reason, because it's like so many trades are going to go out the door. They they can make more money not fighting this war than fighting this war. When fucking, uh, I think what was when Trump was still in power when they assassinated that Iranian dude. Yeah, remember. Everyone was like, "Where's well, gonna?" And then it wasn't. Dick but off. that was a legitimate concern. They're That's like, oh, a fuck. small guy, though. They're like, oh. "Yeah," but it was more the fact of like, of wasn't he in Iran when they did it? No, he was Where in was Iraq. He? That's Iraq, why, that's yeah, that's why. Because I'm like, there's no. Because if you did. If you do bro, that in Iran, yeah, that's yeah, what I'm yeah, saying. Like, bro, like, like what are we doing here? That was actually. It came out later that that was actually planned with the current president and that guy. Uh, we were actually president of of Iran. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So basically, oh, the, so they gave the, him up. The current regime in Iran yes. gave up that, that general guy? Makes because sense. they weren't getting along. Makes sense. Um, same thing that happened to that Russian cat that was going against uh, Putin. Navalny. Yep, destroyed, dead. Maybe he's alive, dude. You think he's he dead? You think no? You think about somebody else? Navalny's in prison right now. You're thinking about somebody else. Who's Navalny? Was the one who got poisoned with that nerve agent, and then he got paralyzed, but he still survived. 
No, no, no. I'm talking about the guy that died in the plane crash in the fucking uh, recently. So he, oh, oh yeah, yeah, the Belarusian guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah. fucking oh, yeah, died. Yeah. Dead. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And they're like, oh. Yeah, what, what a, a shit. What a, oh, Who was that other what a, what a, chick that what randomly... Cra- what a crazy accident. Yeah. Who was the other girl in Russia that randomly <laughs> fell off the building? We There's covered too this. many, bro. There's so many. It just randomly really? falls off. Oh, sorry. Our windows aren't the best. I, I love... Like, you gotta imagine a fucking news editor, like in a newspaper, or whatever, a magazine, whatever you want to call it, and then the news comes in, and then he's like, fuck. How the fuck are we supposed to be spinning this one now? And then at, at a certain point, they just get tired of it. They're like, fuck it, just right. They literally fell off. Well, no one's going to give a shit. No one's going to say anything. All I could say is we need a really good glazing company in Russia. <sighs> we need better windows. Glazing company. Right? We need safety locks on that shit. We need restrictors. That's hilarious. We need all sorts of uh, building code to, to take over Russia, man. It's too many people falling off windows over there. Yeah. Um, would you Would you say you're a good test taker? Test taker? Yeah. Um, I wouldn't say I'm the best test taker no i'm a decent test taker because i have a habit of if i feel that i understand a subject i'll blitz through the test because that's just that's just my speed okay but that's burned me a lot in the past where when i blitz through it i I don't check what i'm doing right and i just go through it especially in stuff like in calculus for example when there's like multiple steps to an integral it's like man if you go if you fuck up step three you're fucking at your end you're you're wrong you know what i mean mm-hmm. the work might look right and you might get some partial credit but you're not going to get like 10 out of 10 or even like 9 or 8 out of 10 because you're missing like your answer's so off you know what i mean right yeah so that's that was especially in engineering that's been my that's been my issue is that people might look and be like oh damn actually you wrote in like half an hour or like whatever you wrote fast it must be good it's like not really that's just kind of how i that's just my normal operating speed some mm-hmm. people they just Go through it more methodically, and they're a lot slower. Would you still do engineering if you knew that you're gonna like progress better in sales? Um, well, yeah, because I got my opportunity in sales through engineering. It wasn't that I just got into sales, right? Right. I got into technical sales because I knew what I was. I knew I knew the engineering behind. I knew the technical stuff mm-hmm. aspect behind it, right? So, um, I, I still would have done what I did. Plus, I I enjoyed my time in engineering. When I was actually doing engineering, I did yeah. enjoy that time. Yeah. The end, what I was doing at the end was not engineering, so that's different. But when I was actually, whatever, putting pen to paper and doing all that stuff, it was real, really. Especially for, like, a 20-year-old, one-year-old kid out of school, and you, you don't really think about making, like, that much money. You're just, like, as long as I'm getting decent pay and, like, I'm enjoying, you feel like you're learning, blah, blah, blah all this stuff. But yeah, it was really fun. So pretty much every uh, Sunday there is, um, uh, give or take one or two, but... Uh, every long long weekend Sunday, mm. we have some UBC SFU uh, frats that come down or clubs. Or oh parties. yeah, makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so were you at night, one last night? Yeah, last night was uh, Robo from UFC, uh, UBC, and uh, uh, SFU. Oh, it was just too much to take on. I was like, yo, this is like a lot, man. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. Like you can't do that shit casually, man. It's like these guys are fucking like hardcore into that. Like I just I don't see the purpose. Well, it's just entertainment. I mean, what the fuck is the purpose of, like, half the shit you do? It's, there's, like, zero, objectively, but that's not... That's kind of a dumb thing to mention. It's like, what's the purpose of, I don't know, fucking listening to music? Objectively, it's like, well, okay, sure, if you watch, like, beta... No, but that's a universal thing. Like, yeah, but uh, if you listen to beta wave... No, but so is uh, watching anime. It's the same. It's you, just another form of entertainment. What like, I would say is... I watch movies or t- other TV shows, it's the same shit. Yeah, but there's there's there comes to a realization in my mind when I do... When I watch too many things or when I'm spending too much time, like, just watching entertainment where I'm like... Whatever I'm watching, regardless of what I'm watching, it's a waste of fucking time. Well, too much is a, first of all, completely subjective thing. It's like, some people don't watch, and I know people that just watch literally zero TV. Those guys are... Zero. Yeah, but like, okay, why? So there's some guys who, who do it for different reasons. Some some just don't watch any because they feel that, you know, it's a complete waste of time. And I think those people are just idiots. And then there's those people who do it because they know that if they, if they watch a bit, they'll watch a lot. They just mm-hmm. want to cut that distraction. So I get that part of it. But if you're just saying that it's a waste of time for the sake of it, it's like, well, that's... No, no, it's not for the sake. Uh, I'm talking in perfect world ideologies. If you could could, uh, take all the time, let's say, for example, that I spent watching TV throughout my life Mm. and invest that into uh, reading nonfiction scientific books as far as like... Scientific. Scientific or uh, even even, even, um, 
like philosophy books, mm. j- just ideologies to, to get your brain around. It's a lot better than watching, like, for example, in my case, uh, I don't know, 250 Korean traumas, whatever the case may be. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Like, the, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't regard anime as lower than Korean dramas. Mm-hmm. It's about the same. It's a waste. Like I learned. Yeah, nothing. I just, I just disagree with that entire train of thought because it goes against, like, I mean, the whole idea behind why we have entertainment as a culture in general. Like, it's sure what one might say, like, from a productivity point of view, like, oh, you know, we need a if we were to focus all our time and efforts, and okay, sure, but there is a lot that goes into the creative side of the mind. And the people that create shows and create movies are the ones who are finding different ways to promote or like to explain different ideas. And it, it activates a certain part of the mind that you don't get doing other things. So there's definitely a point to it. It's not a waste. Uh, now, I don't know if you want to say that your time could be, if you're spending like half of your time that's awake watching shit. Okay. It's like, well, is that taken away from your other things you're doing? Then sure. Yeah. That sounds like a better argument, but to just say that, that kind of stuff is a waste. I don't know. It just sounds wrong to me. I don't, I don't believe it. I think uh, before uh, television uh, or entertainment in in the ways we think of it uh, was introduced in, in such a, I guess, common format for everybody to reach. For some reason, it seems like the old generation, so like our our parents' age, were much more well-rounded when it came to information, just worldwide information. I don't think that's the reason. I think the reason for that is the accessibility we have to information these days. I think that's the biggest the biggest reason as to why we don't memorize stuff, why we don't keep to date with things, is because it's all at the click of a button. So in your head, you're thinking, why, why spend the time reading this at 8 o'clock in the morning every morning with my morning coffee and breakfast? Mm-hmm. when I can just literally Google the information later on today or get like a quick summary because there are apps that will summarize news for you. Mm-hmm. Like you can take five different subscriptions and there's apps that will summarize the headlines right. and you just get it like that. You yeah, see yeah, these yeah. ads on Instagram, course, right? It's like, yeah. oh, I'm the smartest person in the room. It's like, why? Because you're fucking just getting like a 10-second summary of like 100 minutes worth of information. Yeah. So I think that's the biggest reason why that people That might be something we should, me and you should look into. I don't know if you do this, but what? What, it'd, be, it'd be kind of helpful to to have like a, in our chats mm. just have like a, a a daily or a or a bi or like a a, a twice weekly uh, scheme of information where it catches you up like worldwide what yeah happens. i mean there's or what, not even worldwide but just like ent- uh, no, I know what you mean. I entertaining know what you mean. things yeah, yeah. or information that kind of makes you well rounded yeah there's um what the fuck is the name of that main app it's not the daily beast it's like it's some bullshit name that makes it sound like it's more than it is, but it's not. It's really just like an aggregator. Um, but yeah, that's not a bad idea. I think, I don't know, it's, it's interesting that you mentioned that thing about entertainment because at, at, at its root, we've had visual forms of entertainment for literally hundreds of years, like centuries and centuries. So basically since the beginning of time. We've had some yes, of entertainment. Yes, but it wasn't so, uh, so high dose like this. Uh, high dose, yes. Yeah. So like the fact, I guess I meant the biggest issue is yeah. this. This is the biggest problem because movie theaters and TVs have been around for a very long time. Like Even our, people that are parents are age, a couple people, of years older than us, like 10, maybe 15 years older than us, yeah. like they had pagers and stuff, which yeah. was not the same. No, no, not at all. Right? So even in that case, those people are grandfathered into our parents' uh, kind of generation in that aspect yeah. where they didn't have constant fucking stimulation. So they yeah. could have focus wasn't even an issue in like... You know, I mean, there was ADHD kids, don't get me wrong, but it wasn't this. It wasn't like they were giving riddle into kids to Mm-mm-mm. get them to focus. That wasn't the case. I th- well, I think there's two sides to that argument, and it's very interesting how this conversation is flowing. But um, I think on the ADHD side of things, uh, there's two parts to that. So one is the fact that we are now, and I think it's a good thing, we're now starting to recognize and study in more depth certain disorders. Whereas before, we would classify everybody under the same brush, you know, call everybody psychotic or everybody schizo or whatever, right? Now, for for better or for worse, we've decided to investigate that more and, f- and be like, okay, you know what? Not everybody is like this. This, guy's a, this guy is definitely different. They're similar, but they're different. So we're going to call... That disorder, this and this disorder, that, and then we can treat them differently, instead of just because, bro. I mean, back in the day, 
if you were considered like psychotic, some of the treatments were fucked, like electroshock therapy or uh, lobotomies. Lobotomy. Lobotomy Bro, was lobotomies were fucked. They would literally make you a vegetable. In Iran, they still do electroshock. I can see that. Yeah. Electroshock was definitely a lot but it's less not, invasive. But it's not what you think it is. Like, I've seen it done on some of my cousins. It's not what you think it is. You've seen it done? Oh, yeah. Why would you see it seen done? Would you just went to, them, to the doctor? No, I have it at home. I have one of my cousins. He, yeah. uh, he's he's older. Sure. He's uh, he's around my mom's age. So he was actually in the war, in the Iran-Iraq war, which was like 10 years long. This guy has yeah. major PTSD. Yeah, 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 yeah. He never got married. Uh, he has like a bunch of settlements that he got through the government because he was like... He was one of these guys that's, he's kind of like me, where he acted religious and got the money. Right. So in Iran, like, he's got this, we call it bog, which means, like, big garden. So okay. his house, like, you ever you ever drive down uh, Southwest Marine Drive and you hit, like, uh, almost uh, UBC area? Yes. Right before you hit that, there's these fucking houses that have, like, Shaughnessy? These... That's Shaughnessy. Like, a big kind, house? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but it, it's still Southwest Marine Drive. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Like, yeah, in that area. In yeah. that area. You see these houses like on like an acre of land. It's got like brick fucking walls. Yeah. That kind of thing. Right. But this guy, he still needs to get like some type of treatment. So he goes to all sorts of counseling, arts, all sorts of fucking uh, therapies. And and he was one of the main guys I hung out with when I went to Iran when I was 17. And he would show us around and shit. He would go to different cities with us, shit like that. But he also had these uh, appointments he had to go to. Yeah. So. Oh, so he took you with him. He, 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 I was like, hey, let me see it fuck i want to see that so he's biting on like a piece of wood yeah. and uh he's, he's basically on like a platform hands limbs all tied off and then they have this fucking thing on his head and uh he basically gets uh, like a few shocks not to the extent what you're thinking like he was sustaining that and i i asked him I'm like what does this help you with and he's like having zero thought in my head is what it helps me with so if you really think about it when have you ever had zero thoughts? He says, I'm getting the closest I can to that, where mm. I have, like, zero, uh, like, exterior thoughts, where, yeah, like, yeah. it pops into my yeah, head. Yeah, yeah, And it was interesting, because, like, if I think about that, I don't remember a time where I, that, that was even... Yeah, I can remember the last close. time that I, I had, like, zero thought. Um, no, that's actually very similar to what I had in my head, as far as electroshock, electroshock therapy. Um because people think of it as like a fucking, you do it and, you know, it's, it's a fucking, you're burning up and shit like that. No, 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 no. That's it's not, bro, that's, that's electrocution. Yeah. That's, that's yeah, like yeah, electric yeah, yeah. chair shit. Yeah. <laughs> you ever watch the movie Beautiful Mind? Uh, it sounds familiar. I might have. Yeah, it's with uh, that guy who did Gladiator, Russell Crowe. Oh, you, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he plays like the genius who's also schizophrenic. So they yeah. do electroshock therapy on him in the movie. And it's. The way that they show it is almost exactly how you described. Yeah, it's, and it's just and it's repeated treatment. It's not one. Well, it's not one and done. It's like you're doing multiple of them. That's the whole point. But um, yeah, no, I think between that and lobotomies, that's tough. I mean, for lobotomies, you do it wrong, and you literally fuck that person forever. That happened to uh, one of the Kennedy. One of the Kennedys. A lot of shit happened to those guys. The one of the the daughters. She got lo lobotomy and was never the same. That yeah, it. It, it's it's like uh, I said, it's bas basically vegetable state. She was like, it's she was given to it. Like, Yo, no, completely fucked who up. Who signed off on this? Who fucking. <laughs> who's like, yeah, this is okay. Let me Thursday, take, a, let me take an have... ice pick and we just gently yeah. tap and yeah, it'll be fine. Into you're, the fuck. you're hypothalamus. Yeah, get out of here. Serious, man. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Um, to be fair, though, if, uh, if the world was fair with how much. Who do, you, who do you think has caused more pain in, in if you had to designate a race that caused more pain through human history? Oh, the whites, for sure. The whites, okay? Sure. So would it be Problem fair? Problem is, there's different whites. Sure, sure, but we, we call it like a, a, a generalization. Let's generalize. It's because... Okay, okay sure, go, go ahead. Go, keep on, keep on. If the world was fair, only whites would have retarded kids. Because they cause pain? Like, what's what's the reasoning? Because they call, cause pain okay, and suffering okay. throughout. I'm like, I don't know where this goes. It, it'd be like retribution, retribution. I see. I mean, I don't agree, but I, interesting point. I see where you're going with that. Like, anytime I see a, a, like a black kid or a Middle Eastern kid that's, like, you know, handicapped, like that nose of yours right now, I'm like, Jesus Christ, this guy has to do, he's a minority and he's got to deal with this. 
Like, it's not enough that you look like a terrorist. Look how much I struggle. But now you're also fucking, your eyes are out of whack. Yeah, I know what you mean. You're fucking screaming at the airport. Not fair. Right? How is that fair? But if it's a white kid, I'm like, ah. thank Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> thank Jesus. <laughs> oh, God, man. Oh, man. Dude, there was a lot of gay guys last night. And, uh, what oh, did I was, you make some new friends? What I was thinking is like, Man, is this a scary world as a girl? Because <laughs> think about it. If not all guys, like I don't, I don't have fear among gay guys. Like I, I, I never been around guys. But who has like, fear around? Gay- what the fuck? Hold on. <sighs> Let me explain to you. Kinda Imagine shit. you're like Doctor Evil. You're like five seven, sure, hundred forty sure, pounds. Sure, sure, sure. And some of these gay guys were like six five, buddies on sauce, out the gills. All oh, the bears. The, yeah, bears. Yeah, the bears. Now that's like if I was Doctor Evil sized, I would be scared. I think I, what are you going to do? I understand where you were going it's with this. It's the same thing with a girl yeah, walking okay, that's home what I'm alone yeah, like I, I, with I, I, three I guys it, behind her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fucked. And yeah. I, I saw a couple guys, like, <clears throat> these gay guys, These they're, they're a new breed of gay guys. Like, they hit on guys. Mm. I I saw this. They hit on guys like like uh, an aggressive guy would hit on girls. Mm. Like, grab her hand. You know, pull her to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was a couple kids there cause in in the in those rowing clubs because it's an open event. It's not right. like just for the right. university kids. Um, and you see a couple like little kids, like 19, 20 years old kids, like five, six, yeah, get pulled in, bro. At a, at a <laughs> couple times, I went up to those little kids. I'm like, yo, you okay? <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> you want me to tell this guy no? Like, yeah, what do you want yeah, me to yeah. do? But it was it was just really interesting to to see like uh, you you don't really think about it as a man, mm. but men can be man's predator. Like you can yeah, be yeah. prey as a man. For sure, for it's, sure. It it is not something I realized that you'd see in 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 public scenarios. Like you see this in Gen Pop happen, right? Like guys wait, just wake up, yeah, and buddy runs out of his cell and goes hold some dude's pocket. You're like, Jesus. oh shit, okay, yeah, yeah I yeah, see yeah. how this is going, yeah. But in real life, you're like, Jesus Christ, bro. Yeah. This one guy got, like, fireman carried. And, like, he was, like, screaming on top of his lung. And we had to, like, stop the bear from, from fireman carrying this guy. Jesus. And he was going to fucking jack him and take him home. Jesus. It was fucking rough, dude. And it was like, holy fuck. Now I get why girls are so scared. Yeah, yeah. Now I get it. Because sometimes it escapes you. Like, you're like. Well, of course. You don't. It's you not know. something that you normally come across, right? Like, you don't have to be walking down the street and feel that way. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. You're walking down that's the street. Crazy, that's a crazy situation to be in. Imagine where you're walking. You're in Orlando, okay? Mm-hmm. You're walking down the street. Three brothers look at you from across the street, and they look look at you, and you're like, "Hey, sexy Latino, the fat ass, come over here!" And they start like, "I want to come on that mustache, like shit, like that, right?" What are you doing? I'm sucking it. <laughs> <laughs> You're, you're off at 100 mil. Shaquille O'Neal. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Christ. But yeah, it's scary, man. It's it scary is. Out it there. is. It's scary out there. But I still rather be, you know, uh, if, if worst case scenario, I'd rather be here than like be out there in Hamas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cause like that's another to, scenario to bring it full full circle. Full circle, you know. Love it's, that. Bring it back. As as scary as it is over here, just think of those kids, guys. Those kids <sighs> were with the AK forty sevens, acting like they're fucking Hamas soldiers, about to fucking give freedom to the Palestinians. It's, wow. it's all lies. It's all lies and deception. Yeah, no kidding. Hector, you got any last thoughts here? Stay away from the bears. Stay away from the bears, and definitely clench those cheeks. Like Jeez. practice that. Practice that. Jesus. Right? And also, you know, don't have a micro penis, guys. Anyways, we're out. Peace.